Hi everyone, welcome to another video and as promised um, I'd show uh, a quick video hopefully of how I make my homemade witch hazels scented. Um, so what I'm going to do is I bought some of these, I think they're 200 millilitres bottles, uh, capped bottles on eBay a few years ago now. Uh, 12 of them, or was it 24? Anyway, there's a lot of them. And uh, basically what I do is fill that with standard witch hazel, doesn't matter what type. And I'll show you now. And then this is the tea tree oil. You can buy it in any health food shop, pharmacy, chemist, something like that. Uh, some supermarkets. And this is just an empty, or it was, uh, bottle with a with a pipette, you know, with a squeezer. And I've put the said tea tree oil in there because there's no, you just have to pour it. Well, that's not good when you, when you want to add drop by drop sort of thing. So tea tree oil is in siphoned into there or uh, whatever so witch hazel and I just bought this on Amazon I think it was get a funnel and then just fill your desired vessel like so I don't fill it right to the top uh, around there because I leave room for shaking when you're <laughs> when you're making it so that's simple enough, that's standard witch hazel, some people love it as it is but I, I'm not keen on it like that, as you may know. So what do I do, this is going to be tea tree, because I use more of this than any of the others so I've made, I'm going to make this bottle up and it'll be a spare, I'm halfway through my other one so um, here we go, and all I do is, or what I tend to do, is if I can, I add about five drops at a time. Don't go too mad, because uh, you can always add more, but you can't take any out. And then there's a case then, of shaking it. And this is how I do it. I try a bit. Now I can smell the tea tree oil. A little goes a long way. But it's not enough for me. So what I'll do is I'll add another five. It's a nice little job in the evening this. In my little den. <laughs> so another five. Shake it up. Simple really. Now I would suggest buying, um, I think I got this from a chemist or something, um, be wary not to buy too, uh, what can I say, cheap stuff, because sometimes they're made, always buy the best you can, the good quality or a good name uh, for these oils, but uh, as I say, don't use too much. You can see this clouding up now, because of the uh, oil. It's not greasy in any way. Now that's nice. So ten drops is a uh, is very nice. Now if I wanted, um, I can still smell the witch hazel, but I the uh, tea tree balances it out for me, uh, and that's good enough. Um, but if I wanted a a stronger tea tree scent. <laughs> Can you hear it? I would just add another five or something like that. Um, which I think I did with that, about 15 drops. I so I'm going to go for it. Five. And that's, that'll do now. So I know from now on that 15 drops of tea tree oil in a 200 mil, well just under, just to here, is good enough for me. Simple. Oh that's that's it, that matches that, so that's perfect. 
So as I say, these are 200ml bottles which I use and I decant my some of my colognes from plastic bottles into these as you may have seen, especially with the um, Pinel Clubmans. Um, so that's it, that's a new bottle of tea tree and witch hazel made up, that's how I do it. Just before you go, uh, that's that there, menthol. Now these, I use sandalwood, tea tree oil and I think eucalyptus I've got, which I've made my own uh, witch hazels with. And it's roughly the same amount of drops uh, for me, but as I say you start off low. Uh, because some oils are different, stronger scented or something. So start at, f well I do, start at 5, not enough, 10, just right. And then maybe add 5 again or 2, whatever you think, play about. Now when it comes to menthol, I used to use this, these menthol crystals. You can buy them again and online or in a chemist or whatever. I think I bought these from Boots a few years ago. And they're like... Uh, you can see them they're like uh, salt crystals you know like the the coarse salt uh, and what i used to do was just fill that as i did there with witch hazel and then grab a pinch and put them in now these can be strong you know a little does go a long way and then i'd let them dissolve shake it let them dissolve and then i'd have an idea um because too much you can feel like a burning it's too strong but um it was just a pinch and shake it, maybe add a couple more, let them dissolve, shake it, um, and uh, do it that way. But I was lucky enough to have some of this, the original chill mill from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And what it basically is, if I can take the lid off, it's uh, full of menthol crystals and it's like a salt mill. So you, I'm not going to do it now to waste it, but and that grinds it up for you so i've been using that just putting some in in the dish here and then carefully sort of add it into the bottle so it's finer so it dissolves quicker but um hopefully that will help anybody wanting to make their own scented witch hazel so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next shaving video take care